Hey, orange one here. We are in our base and we are pretty much out of food. So we got to do what we've been doing for a while now. We got to do some fishing. So yeah. Um, and we got a little bit of food. It's like not like we have nothing, but we definitely have um, a fair amount of stuff that we don't need to be carrying. You know, like there's like this water and whatnot that we don't really need. Um, keep no let's leave this shovel and we'll leave one of those i think yeah that looks good to me so we'll just leave all that stuff and we'll try and i think just do some fishing you know i, I would like to trap something but i don't think we've had a lot of luck with that um didn't we also have an instance of us falling into the ice recently like my boat am i like misremembering that or no i'm pretty sure i fell into the the water <laughs> and yeah maybe not be right on the edge of the water where was it i've i've completely forgotten it's been a couple days since i actually have played this game i've played i've been playing like far cry a lot which you know for me, it actually scratches a very similar itch to this game. Oh, that was just like a weird little pond thing. There's like a little pocket there. Okay, so here we go. So if I crawl, can I... Um... Yes. I don't understand this. Okay, I guess we fell into the water again. But at least we have our boat. So our boat is, is fine. And I think because it's early morning, we're not going to die from this. I mean, it's not ideal. Don't get me wrong. But I think that we're not going to die from it, so it's fine. Let's just do a little bit of fishing. And we'll see just how bad the temperature is from this. Yeah, we're fine. See? And like right there... That alone makes this uh, trip worth it. Actually, you know what? Before we do anything, let's just do some fishing, like maybe over here. That's pretty terrible catch. Yeah, I think we're going to want to uh, be fishing some other places too, because you can overfish these places. I've forgotten how difficult it is. But, like, yeah, that's that's pretty solid haul there. Right? It is starting to rain. Before we go back home... Oh. Uh-oh. We fell into the freezing water again. I thought that was dumb of me. I even knew that was going to happen. And I did it. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully the cold... I think that our clothing protects us pretty well against it. So I'm going to actually not really do anything about it. Uh, we'll just eat our cooked Ooh. fish. We'll go back to camp. And we'll preserve some of this, I think. And that should be pretty good. Maybe I'll do a little bit more fishing. I don't know. It is it is noon. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can catch more stuff. We've been very, very lucky recently. Nope. I think, oh, we're just ready to drop. We should definitely be not out there then. Let's try and get to our camp. And I think, as someone said, I'll try and set like a little timer for myself with the, the food and, and try and just build a fire that's just big enough for it. I haven't memorized it, so it's going to take... Uh, some time to try and, and figure that out. So if I want to do a fire, let's see, I mean, I could cut down a tree, but I just don't think we have the stamina for it. But we need, like, I don't know, like branches are not going to last long enough. We need like an actual young tree or something. 
Uh, this is... I, I should have probably been a little bit more prepared. Let's have a look-see. I think that's a young one, right? Yep. Okay, cool. The trees do grow back a little bit. It takes some time, but it does happen. Uh, too tired. Okay, well... Yeah, I can have it. Let's, uh, let's put our fish in the cellar for now. Uh, drop. All that for now. Yeah, that's a lot of food, honestly. We don't want to mess that up. Let's just go to bed for now. Let's get the Z's. You know, honestly, this game, I've, uh, I I, ha I have mixed emotions about it. I do enjoy it. I find it very relaxing. Um, but I also feel like I get kind of bored, you know? I'm sure that you all understand what I mean about that. Uh, okay, cool. Can I move those? Yes, and it doesn't seem to be bothered at all by that. That's great. This should be enough to cook some fish with. Like, I think even just one of them might might just do the trick. We'll make this our little fireplace, right? Just one, please. And then, um, stop hauling. Okay. All right, hold on. There we Hey, uh, sorry about that. I, I think we lost some gameplay. I had my mic turned off for a little while there. And I didn't realize it. Um, apparently, this isn't finished being constructed, so we got we to gotta finish that up, I think. Um, but let's cook some of this food up first. So let's just get maybe... We'll keep the roaches as, like, uh, bait, essentially. We'll cook up, I think, I think everything, honestly. I don't see why not, right? Burnt out fire. Uh, can I drop? I actually have no idea what any of these fish look like. Oh, actually, hold on. Whoops. I need to I need to push uh, some of this stuff out of the way. Yeah, like that. And then we had some branches around here, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's push those branches in here. I think, again, we're going to do like four branches. And we'll see how long that ends up going for. But I think that should be a, uh, a good amount of time. For several hours. Yes, that should be more than enough. And I don't think we actually cooked these things. We just moved them. It's just kind of a weird thing. You'd think if it was by the fire like that, um, it would work. Oh, yep. Okay, we're gonna have to do this a few times. I wish there was like a cook all of all fish. That'd be nice. Yeah, what do you guys think I should do as my next goal, given the map and everything? I think I need to explore before I decide too much. Yeah, it's being prepared. If I look at that now. Or if I try and get it. Half an hour. Yeah, so we want to do some sort of task for like half an hour, which begs the question is how long will this task uh, take us to complete uh, the cellar? Because I think it's going to be a little bit more than a half an hour. Uh Oh, our shovel. We need that. Where is that? Here we go. Cool. Yeah, because we really do need the cellar. Like, okay, well that was like literally no time at all. Um. Okay, so I'm not really sure what I want to do, to be honest. Maybe we can uh, get some water. Yep, have a little drink of water. And then I think I might just eat. Yeah, because we have some food here. And then I think what we also need to do is get some like young tree or whatever and start collecting that and, and maybe even getting like a little sled to like cart things back and forth between here and there. 
because it does take a lot of time to transport, you know? No, don't climb. We've talked about that. Um, is this a young one? I think this is a young one. Yup. It's just like easier to do this is what I've found. Maybe I, I should be making blocks though, I don't know. Uh, if I wanted to do like a little sled or something. And there's the raft. Yeah, that's not what I was I was wanting. I wanted like a little sled. Um, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that. But we'll be able to get uh, skis at the very least. Let's do that. Let's get. Oh, uh, never mind. Can I move them like that? Yes, I can. Cool. Yeah, I can't carry them. But I can haul them. I guess that I'm carrying like that stuff behind me. Is how I would imagine it. And then stop moving. Um, there is quite a bit of this stuff that's ready now. That's nice. And then we can go ahead and drop that in here. And we got all this fish, right? And there are also these roaches that I was hoping to use to make little uh, wolf traps. Um, we were gonna do the skis though, right? Let's see, if we wanna make skis. Transportation skis is two boards, which we should have on the ground. Axe, knife, fur. Okay. Oh, we need a lot of fur. Okay, well. I don't think that the foxes are even going to give us enough. I think we need to go hunting, hunting, if we want that. Which we could do. We could easily go for a little hunt. We've got tons of food. We even have some water. Though I don't know if I need to carry the water. I don't think we do. We could just go for a little adventure. Let's just check the traps real quick. It hasn't been fruitful for us in forever. But one can be hopeful, right? Here we go. Nope. I guess I shouldn't be hopeful. Nope. Nope. I think it's less exhausting to go around on the raft with the paddle than to go up and down the hills. But I don't really know that. Is it? Does anybody know? I know that there's like one person who's really into this series. It's like undead something or other. Do you know? There we go. And also, am I just like... Have I just picked bad places for the traps or something? Like, it seems to me that these traps just seem to not be catching anything. And I'm not sure why. Um, let's get on here, because I think this gives us a little bit of a better perspective. Yeah, there's like no wildlife around us. Let's go back here. We'll get that last of that food. Hopefully it's not burnt. Oh, nope, not burnt. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab, I think, these as well and take that and we'll go on a little adventure, see what we can find. It is morning right now, so I think that we should be able to find something. Um, if I wanted to, if, what's the map? Command again. I've forgotten it. I think it's like one of these ones. It's like F something. Here we go. That's what I want. Okay, so... D is cultural regions. Yeah, there seems to be a large cultural region down there. So maybe this isn't the ocean that we're at. I could have sworn that we were right next to the ocean. But maybe that there was just like archipelagos or something. Why don't we kind of make our way up to that village? Yeah, let's make our way up northeast. See what we can view from the hill. Not an awful lot, unfortunately. We're a bit hungry. Oh, there's something. Let's just eat. 
Oh, that's a stale roach. Okay. I thought it was, uh... Okay, where did you go? I know that that thing's around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. I probably should have had my arrow ready. Hey! Task complete! Okay, can I hide? Um, I can't hide. Uh, can I wield my arrows? Yes, I can. Uh, and... They're gone. Really? Can I try and hide now? And try and catch them? It's very unlikely that we'll be able to catch them. Okay, they seem to be alert. They've gone some distance. Yeah, we're probably... Our best bet here is to try and trap them. But I don't know if we're going to really be able to do that. Oh. You see them? There's actually two of them. Uh, how do I fire? Again, I think it's throw. Uh, okay, uh, can I wield an arrow again? Yeah, there's, I think, at least two reindeer that I can see. Um, let's see, throw. It's It's very unlikely that we'll kill it. Uh, it's very difficult to hit, really. So I'm just going to try and shoot anything. Um, and now we've gone and lost one of our arrows, at least. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to catch these guys. Uh, okay, so can I... Get that arrow. Grab that from there. So I used capital G for grab there, just so that you know. Uh, what's this? Is that a baby? Yep, there's a baby. We might be able to run these things to exhaustion. I don't have skis, so that's going to be pretty difficult to do. But I have heard that that is a strategy that you can do in this game, is that you can just kind of follow them until they get tired. Ah, uh, these guys. There's a stag right there. It should be an easier target, right? Yeah, I just don't think that we're gonna um, get them. But who knows? This one seems closer to me, right? Isn't that one closer? Ah. Okay, that, let's try one more. Nope. Arrow hits a pine. Now, does anybody know how to find arrows after you fired them? Because that has always been my difficulty in this game. Is firing and then finding said arrows. Because I've used a couple arrows here. It'd be really helpful if I could find them again. Like that one. That's one of them. But I don't think there's a way for us to like search for items or anything, is there? Or, like mark items there on the ground. Yeah, I don't think so. This isn't like Fallout or Far Cry. They don't like make the ground flash. You know, <laughs> like that's always been something that kind of I have mixed feelings about because I get really frustrated trying to find loot on the ground. At the same time, it's kind of like realistic. It's like sometimes you wouldn't be able to find the stuff after getting a kill, you know. Can I just wait till my fatigue goes down? Let's eat some food. Take care of some of those needs, see if we can find these things. And keep in mind that they're having to navigate through snow as well, so they're probably plenty tired as well. 
Yeah, I think we've kind of lost them, unfortunately. But I, I've got an idea of where they might be. We could go back and go back to the tracks. Okay, yeah, so what's this right here? Leading to the northeast. Okay, so I think that they may have gone leading to the southwest. They may have gone like this way. And then, like, they could have also turned around. Like, they could have gone down and then turned around. I don't know. Oh, numerous and mixed tracks. I think that we're going in the right direction. Leading west, yeah. I'm pretty sure that this is, is correct then. See, we could take this spot and try and build that little trap. Because we now know that these guys do spawn up here. Unfortunately, I don't seem to be doing a very good job of finding them. Hmm, okay. Well, the tracks were here. And then did they turn? No, they didn't really turn. Okay. Just kind of lost track of them. Right, tracking. Lost track of them. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm pretty sure that they also try and stay as a herd. Though I could be wrong about that. Was this the little one trying to run back up? No. I think they still tried to stay with the other one. Man, this is actually getting a little bit confusing as to what happened here. I feel like this is like CSI, but like just some dude in the woods hunting reindeer. You know what? I'm going to stop hiding and I'm just going to track this animal and see if I can run it down to exhaustion. Because I think we are um, kind of running it down. I could also be wrong about that. It could totally be, like, fine. But in any case, I think it would be fine for us to just do a little bit of exploring in the woods, don't you? Oh, man, there was a whole lot of kerfuffle over here. Good God. Where's the big one? Where are the big tracks? Did they go off this way? Yeah, this is getting a little confusing now, because we came in here, and it looks like they went off this way. Maybe? Good god. I don't know, man. They may have lost me. Yeah, this is chaos. The post of whatever happened here. I'm just going to kind of circumnavigate around and see if I can find any other tracks. Oh. Well, we didn't find a track, but we found a bird. Seriously? I can't even hit that bird. Okay, well, I think that it's it's pretty hopeless for us then. If we can't even hit that, you know? Unless we exhaust the the moose. Because they are... It's, it's an interesting thing. Humans have um, hunted animals to exhaustion for a long, long time. And animals have stamina and fatigue and what all that stuff that we do. So, yeah, you can totally run them down. Doesn't look like I'm going to be capable of doing that. Unfortunately, it's late morning though, so I'm not going to give up. Not just yet. But we do know that we could, you know, what we could do is we could start forming like a little wall around here and then kind of lure peop the animals into it. I just don't feel like this, I've been convinced, is elk 
heavy enough to justify that. You know what I mean? Like, okay, there's that village. If I wanted to do some trading, I could. I kind of want to do some exploring first. Just want to see if we can spot any other animals. You know? That's most of the reason for exploration is that I'm just curious as to what other animals we have around in the nearby area. A settlement comes into view. Hey! So, uh, oh, look. I see it. Right here. If I look on, I think it was F6. Yeah, it's a village. Uh, it's a Koivula village, I think. Or maybe not. Pretty sure it's not one of these guys. That's all that matters. If I look at it here, I think it will tell me. The fortified village. Let's see what's in the fortified village, right? I don't think it... Oh my gosh. I've not actually seen a fortified village. I heard a door nearby. Uh, okay. I mean, I think I can climb on top of this, but I don't think that I'm supposed to. But maybe I am. Of course, the gate's at the, the south side, huh? Serves me right. Oh, there's a little gate here. Hello. He's carrying some knife. But I think that we're going to have to do, if we're interested in trading, we're going to have to do what we did last time. Oh, look. A doggo. Could I buy the dog? Can I, like, talk to you, human? Oh, he actually has... Oh, he's got a crossbow. And he's got, like, proper arrows as well. Oh, that's tempting. Oh, getting a spam call. Nope, not gonna look at that. That's also cool, the round shield. Okay, I think we might need to buy the arrows. Um, I'm not gonna do it just yet. This guy right here is a adventurer. That's why he's got the arrows and the crossbow. He actually has, like, interesting items, you know? Unlike these, like, craftsmen who, like, carry nothing on them. There's a wild trident here. A staff. Two dried trouts. Some sort of fine knife. I might want to get a better knife so that when we eventually skin animals, uh, it doesn't take forever. A housewife. You know, back in the these days, being a housewife actually sounds like a pretty sweet deal compared to being out in the complete frozen wasteland. I don't know. I'm sure people back then would disagree. I'm sure they were treated terribly as well. You know, I saw there was this one thing that they were talking about, like early human civilizations in the north. And um, they were talking a little bit about like just how, how the environment probably killed a ton of men. And so there was probably like a huge disproportion population of uh, women to men. And that they were just like all going off into the snow and then like dying and then they would come back and they would have like multiple wives, basically. That's what uh, I forgot what it was I was reading or where it was. But they were basically saying like the Norwegian, they also had like the whole like concubine culture thing due to that as well. It was just kind of like this like traditional uh, structure, you know, like cultural structure really. Wait, that kid's just wearing trousers? Good thing he's indoors. Jeez. Nothing on the floor here, it looks like. Okay. Is this like an outhouse? What is this? There's a hundred turnips in there, apparently. Well, if I needed to make any, uh... I don't know. Stews? I mean, what do you even use them? Oh, there's masterwork shoes. That's funny. If they had skis that they'd be willing to trade for... Hello! 
I just talked to the dog, apparently. Laverette. That must be a food. A juniper bow. I didn't know that they had junipers here. Uh, Broadhead arrows. So that would not destroy the, the coats of things that we kill with those. Like broadheads are like what they use for like hunting, I think, small game. Trying to not just destroy their coat. Okay, what do we have here? A spear. Oh, a, a proper pot. Pickle paddle. Oh, I couldn't actually see that corner. What is in that corner? I just want to know. Okay, I think that's a bird. Some cuts from a bird. Pretty sure. It's nice with the rocks because we have a pretty clear boundary on where the settlement really ends, you know. Yeah, they've got a lot of seeds in here. And fish. There's a car masterwork carving axe. Yeah. Woodman's axe, but Splitting axe. I probably want like some different axes down the road. I think we're gonna need some more furs if we really want that. So it looks like the entrance is really this thing over to the side. The housewife withdraws away from me. I mean, was I acting inappropriately? Okay, I think that we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.